that I'm going to read you a poem. It's a poem, but this is a very odd arrangement for a poem, but I still call it a poem. And it's about, I don't know if you've ever been on I-10 going across Louisiana and crossed the Atchafalaya Basin Bridge or not. But it is a very long bridge and it is a serious piece of architecture and do never drive across that thing unless you are conscious of the fact that you're getting ready to drive 30 miles across a bridge. And I drove across there early this summer. The Atchafalaya Basin Bridge spans some 20 miles of Louisiana swampland. And I'm out here somewhere near the bridge's center at 3 a.m. on a Friday morning on my way to play in Houston, Texas. I am weary, but I am wide awake, chewing on a mouthful of gum, which is a, a how-to-stay weight tip I learned from a truck driver in Carolina years ago. You ain't never gonna drop asleep, he told me, if you're smacking on some bubble gum. <laughs> so I'm smacking. And this masticating commitment to not falling asleep at the wheel on a bridge in Louisiana is now fueled by a chemical concoction of Red Bulls and BC powders. So I'm sitting straight up and I'm cruising pretty good because this is no place to not pay attention, I tell you. This bridge, it has a history. There are stories and they are not pretty about people who never made it across. People who had to face the fiery consequences of having lost focus. So I got both hands on the wheel. There's no music playing or anything. I don't want any music playing. I don't even like damn music to tell you the truth. I've learned that music will interrupt my train of thought and make me forget what it is I should be thinking about and I hate it when that happens. So I'm just listening to the whine of the wheels on the bridge. I got my high beams on. I got my mind on the job at hand and then I see a glint of eyes in the beams of my headlight. What the hell? Some inbred Louisiana lowlife duck dynasty son of a bitch has dumped off a poor dog out here on this bridge. But what I'm feeling is not really anger or rage. What I'm feeling is an immediate visceral responsibility for his fate, for the terrifying fact of his imperiled life, his dire predicament. He's probably 50 yards in front of me now, trotting toward me eastward against traffic with his tongue hanging out. I steer to the opposite rail. I hit the brakes hard and I come to a stop. I remember that I keep a leash in the glove box and I, and I grab it quickly. I've got some sardines in the back too and I figure I can maybe coax him toward me with the sardines. But what the hell am I going to do with him then? Once I, I get him in the car. I've got a show in Houston in a little over 12 hours. Wait, I know. What I'll do is I'll just take him to a vet there in Houston this morning. I'll get them to check him out and hold him till Monday. I can pick him up then on my way home from Austin. Yep, that'll work. I'll, I'll have to call my wife and tell her. <laughs> She's going to freak out a little because we already have three damn dogs. But I know she will never argue with me in my heart. Not about a dog, she won't. We'll have to work it out. I'm, I'm sure the dog, he or she, hadn't been fixed, probably has fleas and worms and all of that, and it's going to cost a small fortune to get him healthy. But what the hell am I supposed to do? I am not leaving this dog out here on this bridge. He might have made it this far, but he doesn't have a chance in hell of getting off here alive. I know if I don't save him, the buzzards will be picking at his bones by noon tomorrow. So I turn off the car, but I leave the headlights on and I open the door and I get out with the leash in my hand and for some reason I'm surprised by the loud drone and buzz and the croak that is coming from this Louisiana swamp. It gives me pause. But then I realize the dog is moving along and that I don't really have time to try to get the sardines out of the back of the car. I'm going to have to try to just catch him and convince him to come to me. So, hey there buddy. I hear myself say. And it sounds sad and pathetic. Hey, buddy, I'm not going to hurt you. And by now he's really close and he hadn't changed his pace a bit. I can, I can hear the clip of his toenails on the bridge. I, I can hear him panting. 
And he doesn't stop or slow down or come toward me or run or anything. He just goes right by like he's on his way to some appointment or something. And then he cocks his head a little, head a little and he looks at me. And, and that's when I say to myself out loud, Holy smokes. It's a coyote. <laughs> Marathon to Concord The torches burn Blood for fuel Liberty she can be so cruel Shine Republic shine Pave the way through the hearts of our wilderness Let your God down the rivers of tenderness Shine Republic shine Promenades and pageantry Turn to cold hard steel Your fairy tales are good as real Shine Republic, shine With your obsession for Caesars and luxuries And keeping all your children in custody Shine Republic, shine Shine Republic, shine Pave the way through the hearts of our wilderness Let your God damn the rivers of tenderness Shine Republic, shine Shine Republic, shine Pave the way through the hearts of our wilderness Let your God damn the rivers of tenderness Shine Republic, shine. Ooh. 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 Bitter is the taste of truth when blinded by things you can't see. You're swinging now from your own deuce. Shine, Republic, shine. But watch out for the ones who got nothing to lose. I tell you, we're not yet quite through with you. Shine, Republic, shine. Shine, Republic, shine. Pave the way through the hearts of our wilderness. Let your God damn the rivers of tenderness Shine Republic, shine Shine Republic, shine man with a worried mind Nothing in front of me ain't nothing behind A woman on my lap She's sipping champagne She got white skin Assassin's eyes She's staring up into the sapphire skies A well-dressed man standing on the highway Standing on the gallows, my head at a noose. Any minute now, all hell will bring loose. People are crazy, and times are strange. I'm locked in tight by the range. I, I used to care, but things have changed. Doing me and that good I ought to be out there in Austin or Hollywood The minute there I swear I, I thought I seen something move Gonna take dancing lessons Do the jitterbug rag I ain't afraid of nothing I'll even dress in drag A fool would feel he had Something left here to prove Times are strange. I'm 
locked in tight I'm out of range I, I used to care But things have changed Seconds they will be like all eternity. I'm gonna get down low and rise up high. All the talk in the world is one big lie. I'm in love with this woman and she don't even appeal to me. Ben Carson and Donald Trump, they can jump in the lake. Things have changed.